Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. Uh, in this one I will show you, uh, I had a question in one of my videos, so this is um, a quick video, how to, uh, an explanation about the question. The question was how to create like equal height posts on an archive. We have, uh, I have done an, a video about this, um, a little bit similar um, with the related posts, like with a single post, if you click on it, you go down. You have some related posts. I showed you something that you could do to make those um, equal height. Uh, so you can check that out if you want to. This one is going to be about the archive page itself, where you want to create like the read mores to align at the bottom. First, going to add something different, the coloring maybe. Uh, archive layout. Let's see. Uh, with design. And let's just make a, um, a little different background maybe so we can see a little bit clearer how far the boxes go uh, let's make it yeah, just a gray one just uh, so it's obvious to see let me close this up so if i inspect this what i want to do if i close this down a little bit is to make the read more uh, align at the bottom this is going to help me uh, or is going to help the layout to look a little bit more uniform and has it has, looks like it's more equal height and um, so how can we do this it's of course you have to look at your titles as well so if you want to exactly align also this text together with this text this is going to be dif difficult if your font size is too big and the title is too different like three lines two lines one line then it's hard to to make everything uh, align perfectly but it's easy to align the read more i'm going to add a little bit of custom code so i'm going to show you how i uh, how i do this we go to the inspection i'm going to select the container we're going to open this up open this up we're going to open this up as well. We can use this as a primary uh, selector, archive container. So I'm going to command C. I've already got my customizer open here. I'm going to do the this one. This is the selector for an ID and then paste in the archive container selector. Then next thing we want to select, this is the article. So you see uh, if I hover over every blog post is an article yeah it has a certain class so we can use uh, article dot entry for example to select this so let me copy this go to the customizer do article dot entry so we have selected now the article then let me make this a little bit smaller and now we're going to scroll down and we're going to look if I select this one, you see this is uh, the whole, like the, the grayish color. This is the, the box that we have now selected. Yeah. So then inside of this box, we have an, an, a link and this is the image. You see now it's, if I hover over, it's the image. And then we have the entry content wrap. This is this one. Yeah. So it's something we have to do with this entry content wrap. You see it does not come completely to the bottom of the container you see you have a little bit of a little bit of space in between so i have selected my entry content wrap here and you see that it does not align completely with the bottom of the container of the article so you might try height 100 percent for example oh, this is in caps height 100 percent and let's click on enter so this is now applied inside of the it's not inside of the customizer yet but you see if i do this it's completely going across uh, for whatever reason it's not working so it's going outside of the article so this is not going to work um, like this so what we have to do is first select the article and uh, put the display flex on it so i have this here already set up let me put in display flex now you see it's completely messing up the layout but we just have to set a flex direction of column now we have already just the same layout as we had before so this is not changing anything it's just now a flex container instead of a normal block container then we're going to copy this command c command v and we're going to select now the uh, entry content wrap so we're going to select this class command c dot command v 
so we have selected it now and then we can add a height of 100% now let's see what this does or not probably nothing too much yet so we have a look this is still looking the same but we're also going to add a display of flex to it you see first thing is messing up but then flex, di flex direction can be column again column so now it looks the same again and now we can do something cool this is a neat little feature that lines the bottom child always on the bottom so we have to select it first so again we can select everything here so it's going to be one level below so we have to check in the inspection which one it is so if we open this up we have a header entry header let me make this bigger again scroll here a bit down so we have the header we have the summary and then we also have the footer this one we want and we want to uh, so select this class dot command v and then we're going to add a margin top and we're going to put the word auto so this means you see immediately that it automatically calculates the remaining space to push it to the bottom and you see now every read more button is aligned perfectly to the bottom let me publish this what you see here i haven't refreshed this color is uh, the grayish color is not here yet so let me go out of my customizer and scroll down and now you see every article has the same height that was already the case but now at least i will read more button or link is aligned at the button bot bottom of the container um, and it does not matter how big this text is or how big my title is so this is something you can set up like this so it looks a little bit more uniform so i hope this was helpful uh, try it out and if you encounter any problems just let me know and i'll be happy to help you thanks for watching and see you in the next one